Hey, what is up you guys? This is Jim Magics1272 here coming back with you guys with another model airport update for my model of San Francisco International Airport. So this is, is my March update for the airport. Um, I do have one new model that you guys have not seen yet and I have a f many new models new to San Francisco, about five new models that are new to San Francisco International Airport. But So yeah. Um, I didn't, the reason why it took me so long to get the update out is because I, when I, there was a little, uh, something when it got in my way, so I wasn't able to find the routes when I wanted to, and I couldn't film it until later tonight, so, right now it's like 9 o'clock, so, right now it's not 9 o'clock, it's like, yeah, it's around 9 o'clock, I don't know, but anyway, um, so this is just, um, quite a bit of traffic, quite a bit of movement in this update. But, so yeah, let's get started. We'll start out with the regional terminal, with the regional jets. Alright, first up we had a American Eagle E-170. He's getting um, luggage on board for a flight down to Los Angeles. Next up we have a Delta Connection, connection CRJ-700. He'll be going out to Salt Lake City. And then last for the, for the regional terminal we have a Alaska Airlines um, CRJ-700, he is getting luggage on board for San Jose. Moving on to the main part of SFL, the United um, section, which only has three gates here, but that's because I need more gates for other airlines, so technically they have a lot more than three gates, but yeah. So, occupying the wide body gate, we have a United Airlines 767-300 ER getting um, catered for a flight to Tokyo, Narita. No, I just knocked the plane over. There we go. Okay, so next up we have a United Airlines Airbus A320 in the Stars and Bars. Retro livery, he's going to be going out to Mexico City. Next we have a um, United Express ERJ-145. Here he will be making a flight to Kansas City. Here just pushing back out of the gate we have a um, Southwest 737-800 with split scimitars in the new livery. He's just going to taxi over to 27 for a flight to Milwaukee. Right here we have a Southwest Airlines 737-300 in the Arizona colors. He's going to be flying to San Diego. Over here we have Southwest 737-700 in the Nevada... Nevada One color, sorry, I can not know what it's called. He's getting luggage on board for a flight to St. Louis. Starting off with the American Air Aircraft, we have an American Airlines A319. He will be going out to Chicago O'Hare. Moving on to the other side of the domestic terminal, basically. Or not domestic, um, US Airlines terminal. We have an American Airlines 757-200 getting fueled for a flight to JFK. John Kennedy. Here we have an American Airlines 737-800 getting luggage on board for a flight to Philadelphia. In the wide body gate we have a Delta um, A330-200. He's getting, just getting cargo on board. No. Yeah, he's getting cargo on board. He came in from Atlanta and is going to head out to JFK. Alright, here we have a Alaska 737-700 getting fueled, let me move that a little closer, getting fueled, um, he'll be going out to Minneapolis, no, wait a minute, oh crap, I don't know why, I just totally missed this plane, <laughs> Delta 737-800, he'll be going out to Minneapolis, I don't know why I missed that, um, but anyway, Alaska 737-700 getting fueled, he'll be going out to Portland, Oregon, or PDX. Um, this night, actually, I don't really have, I don't, don't normally have cargo aircraft here, but since nobody was using this gate, I just, or that gate, I just decided to put a cargo plane right there, but normally they'd be right there. So here getting, um, crew members on board, we have a FedEx MD-10, he's just getting crew members on board, actually the bus is just driving t towards the plane, but he'll be going out to Honolulu today. Now if we move on to the international terminal, which is... Fairly, we don't have all my international planes there right now, obviously, because I'd be overflowing it, but 
I'm just gonna remind of planes here. Um, here you just pulling into the gate from Sydney. We have a Qantas 747-400 in the World Cup colors. Number it's triple seven dash two hundred in catering. Um, he will be heading out to Dubai later today. Next we have a WestJet seven thirty seven dash eight hundred. He just came in from a flight from Vancouver. Here we have a KLM A330-300. He's getting um, luggage unloaded. Um, and he just came in from Amsterdam Schiphol. And right here we have a Swiss A330-200. He's just getting luggage, or not luggage, cargo on board for a flight to Zurich. And last from the international terminal we have Lufthansa. A340-300 going to his normal service to Munich, Germany. So now we're going to take care of this plane. I'm here getting look, getting passengers on board. We have a Delta 717. He'll be going up to Los Angeles. This isn't Delta Shuttle anymore. It used to be Delta Shuttle, but then they ended that flight on the, or they had a Delta Shuttle here. So I don't think that Delta Shuttle even exists anymore. Um, here we just have two planes in the hangar just because I was too lazy to take them upstairs. So forget about those two. Um, here in second in line for departure, we have a. Now, third in line for departure, we have Hawaiian A330-200. He'll be going out to Honolulu and came in from Kauai. Here, just holding short of 34, we have an Air China 747-400. He'll be going out to Beijing. Here, he's second in line. And just turning on the runway, we have found the rear site for 34. Um, United 757-300. He'll be going out for a flight to... Um, well, he'll be going out to Cancun, which I know I said that usually this runway is not used for narrow bodies, and I said that I specified 757s are narrow bodies. Well, occasionally, occasionally we get 757s over here, but most of the time they are 753s. The only time that we get 757-200s is when, no, is when runway 27 is really busy or is backed up, or I don't just basically like that, so... This is just going over here just because, I don't know, just because, well, I guess there's quite a bit of traffic on the 27, on the 27 right now, so he just came over here, but most of the time we get 753s on this, on this runway, if they are, even if we do get 757s, but just occasionally we do get 752s, but that's a very rare scene, so, um, moving down to the end of the runway, we have a... Delta Airlines, should I get that paper out of there? Delta Airlines 767-300, just pulling off runway 48. And he just came in from, um, he just came in from JFK. And then my new model, the American Airlines A319. I had this one right here, and then I also have this one, so I have two A319s now. Anyway, this A319 is taxing to 27, and I don't think I got this guy down. But anyway... Um, this guy's going out to Phoenix Sky Harbor today, just for, to actually, American probably has the longest taxi from, to 27, so. Okay, now let's, let's, let's go. Sorry, I'm trying to, I have my roots all in order, and they'll get really mixed up. With, oh, never mind, we go over here. Sorry about that little delay there, guys, I want to make sure that I went up the right way. Alright, here landing on 27, we have a United Airlines 757, not 757, uh, A320 in the Star Alliance colors. He's just landing from Nashville, Tennessee. They're holding short of 27, next in line for departure, we have a Delta MD-90. He'll be going on a flight to D Detroit today, which is actually quite a long flight for the MD-90. If I had a 752 or 753, I'd use it on that route, but I don't. I do plan on getting a 752 or 3 eventually. Next in line for departure, we have a Southwest Airlines 737-700. He'll be going up to Dallas Love Field. Just landed. Um, we have a United, United A319. He just landed from Cleveland Hopkins. And last but not least, we have this Delta 737-900 in the CE Woolman. Or a CE woman, as you can see. Um, but he is just, um, he just, no, he's he's going over for a flight. 
Um, he'll be going over to 27 for a flight to Cincinnati. Alright guys, that's it for the airport update. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty good airport update, if I do say so myself. Not, I mean, the last month, February wasn't that good, but January was really good. So, this one is seems a lot better, but I, I barely got it up in time, but I'm glad I did. And my next video will be on Friday, which I do have the day off from school, which is really good. So, I'll be able to make a video um, during the day, not at night like I normally do. And I'll, it'll be a Models by Airline, and I'll do Southwest first. So, I'm going to try it, Models by Airline. I haven't done it yet, so hopefully it goes well. But anyway, I'm getting low on battery, so I've got to let you guys go. So, please give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video on Friday. Thank you.